Hello everyone. Eddie here. Troy Croft, sir. Down in my mines. It's been a good week. It really has been a good week for videos this week. Some strange things going on, and even more strange things still happening. Big thank you to Troy, because at the moment I owe him an awful lot of river skelly skulls, even if you can't see their texture till I put them down. Because without his spawner, I wouldn't be able to do this. And I am good for repairing him. Because I should be getting my own one up very soon. It's top of my list of things to do at the moment. But I've been doing this a little bit. So I've mastered the art of getting them done quickly. A red heart. That's unusual. I've been getting lots of blue ones. i getting lots of yellow ones. Um, yeah, so... 24 never stars. I told you I've been doing it a little while, didn't I? So, I owe Troy owners a lot of wither heads with the skulls, so he will be getting them back because I will be setting up my own wither skelly farm soon because I had issues with Big Blue. Ah, dear. Let's not discuss Big Blue because Big Blue was a big fail. Let's go show you, actually. Big Blue. All set up. And it all running. It's... Whoop, whoop, get off. Got diamond spikes in there. And it's got swords. <laughs> and veils. And I put these three closer together to try and cut down spawn outs. But no. It wasn't having none of it. Uh, can I still get out? Let me get out without dying, thank you. The skelly spawners. Even though it's done off a wither skelly, it produces normal white overworld skellies. Who spawn outside? It should be. Blazes works fine. You get a few blaze rods. I've taken them all now. You get a few blaze rods. It works. A bit slow, but it works. Enderman. Yeah. Slows molasses, but once again it works, but very very slow. So the size of it and everything it's doing in it, I'm not interested. It's gonna get ripped down or adjusted. But I did rip this one down and take that all apart to make the bits in that one. So maybe this one will go into the bits in the next one because fun things have been happening. Uh, let's. Pop up to the tree. The tree of fun. Whoop, there we go. Yep, made some changes up here. Made it a lot more open plan. Took out this middle section. Added a few bits. As spangly that is. That seemed to be a bit of a waste of time's work. Right, where are you? If you've escaped, I'm not going to be happy. There you are. Look at what I found. He blasted through a dimension. The withers didn't kill him. They blasted him into this... Well, maybe. If you believe that, you believe anything. Right. That is a dragon essence altar. This is a normal altar. Normal altar. It's... Yeah. <laughs> I'll say normal altar. It's... Uh, normal for this stuff it's a basics essence altar which if i click on it should give you the recipe there click on that it'll give you that recipe not horrendously hard to make that to make it work you kind of need the dragon essence which is what i put on there and you can make oh that's really strange that menu i can't get it working properly you can get put dragon essence on it and put dragon essence in it and it gives you imbuing powers. Now, if you look closely at the corners, there's a diamond block there, a diamond block there, which gives 14 times boost. Boost of what? Don't know. There's a redstone block there, which gives speed increase. And there's a quartz block there, which gives reduced essence usage. But what I do know is if you throw your tools on these eight altars around the side. They can be made out of anything as long as they're all the same thing. 
your tools, your armor. Um, boop, would that land on that? Yep, good. See, my arm's okay. It's still a bit of power I'd use in there. It's not a problem. I've repaired all my armor by chucking it on there. You can increase... Um, you know, you can increase your uh, enchantments on there. My boots had haste 2 on it, so when I repaired them, it came back haste 3. Now this should slowly start creeping down. What else needs repairing? Nothing. That's all okay. So that will repair stuff. For a 20 essence, it does cost you a bit. You can make it's waste of space. It's a brewing stand. You can put stuff in it as normal. Brew it up as normal. Then you put this end powder in the bottom. And you can keep adding redstone. But it only adds 30 seconds at a time. Now a normal potion is 8 minutes. You get 8 minutes for one redstone. So that's had loads of redstone. And it's only 5 minutes 30. So I was quite disappointed with that. But I'm sure I'm using it wrong. But we shall see. We shall see. Look, I've been messing about with Eximite from the What's This About. my first enchantment. I put the Bane of Arsepods. I ask you. Let's go killing spiders. Actually, I know someone who might use her. Let's go killing spiders, sword. I know someone who might take it very well to have that. So let's have a look, see how these are done. Boop. See, that one's fixed. Boop, that one's fixed. And boop, that one's fixed. It's cheaper than getting the X amount. It's cheaper than getting whatever it is to fix that. And there is always a chance of getting an extra, um, what do they call it? Enchantment on there. My words aren't working today, you'll have to bear with me. So that's what I've been messing about with from the end at the moment. Exomite and that enchanting table. There's loads more in the end worth looking at as well. Which is going to be another day. Because it's a bit tough in the end. It's a bit fighty. So you've got to be a bit careful. Scoops is trying to quarry in the end, but... Whether that works out or not. What's oh, I hate that map being right across the middle. That's better. I have a feather. Excellent armor. Got it for the collection. Pretty good stats, but less than diamonds. So, and if it's less than diamond, it's definitely less than my fully enchanted dark armor. But today's mission requires a ton of gold. Again, everything I do requires gold. I have a distinct deficit of gold. Because <laughs> everything I want to make requires it. So let's zip down here because I found some horse armor. Which I melted down. Uh, let's check up here. Whoa, I'm glad I got F7 on because I've just spotted. Oh, come fly. I saw it. There it is. Every now and then I get a mob running around. So I'm trying to track down where they're coming from. Uh, gold in here, yeah. Let's some of that. Let's go out to the rig. And. Uh, good. Gold cooking, we've got 14 gold pulverized in there, so that can cook. And we've got one in there, so we'll grab that when that 14 comes through. So that should give us a stack and a half, that should be enough. Now, what I'm after is if I click on uses for another star. Oh, no, let's click on that first. Uses for a nether star. No, not the rest of the people. Uses. Uses. Tinker. It's... Being silly on me now. Uses for a row. 
Nether Star. Oh, that's the one. It's these imbued Nether Stars. Now we want three of them. So we need eight Nether Stars each, and we need three of these, which is three of them. That's not difficult to do. Let's get the three of them. Really must put these tables in a much more practical place to use them. So that gives us three of them. Then we'll go use this on that. That's the one we want the machine core, so it's iron and gold. Of course, I haven't got any iron on me. Because that would be sensible, wouldn't it? Tell you what, let's grab. Oh, let's get rid of the eggs while I'm here. Oh, I don't need two stacks, so. Oh! Oh, two. It works. Let's get a few of them. And stack of iron. Wait, 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 wait. There is my food in my mouth. I'm pretty sure of it. One, two, two, three. Um, this is wrong. I've got a funny feeling I've just done that wrong. But maybe not. We'll see. Get in there. Oh no, it worked. So then, we do that. And it gives us that. Now what I want to start with is that which is an imbued rod. Expensive in itself. Then you combine it with that and that and you get the world's most expensive sword. <laughs> oh yes. Oh yes. I've managed to get an imbued sword. 54 attack damage. Durability 10 thousand um I kind of like that let's have a little pop in here and see if it kills people I'll turn it off so I'm doing our heads in does it kill you <laughs> oh, there's going to be very little that's going to stand up against this now. Why is that one dark again? This side gives me trouble. It keeps cutting out. For some reason, this side dark stays dark, and it shouldn't. But it should be turned off. And this is almost as if it's outside a chunk or something. Look, they're all turned off. And... If I do that, that's probably going to reverse it. Well, it's still dark in there. <laughs> I like this sword. It doesn't even look like it's took durability yet. Is it that one that's got to be reversed? Um, you're not allowed in here, go away. Don't even think about it. I want this sword forever. I need to put Soulbound on it. Because if I die, it goes in the grave. See now, look, that's turned on there. I'll reverse that. Right? But as it turns, see, it's turned that one off. Now that one's on, that one's off. Oh, there's something screwy going on with my, my levels. I'll have to sort that out work out what's going on because that's not right but that is awesomeness because I now have a seriously seriously good sword and I will be putting soul bound on it and I will be putting loot in on it don't think I'll bother putting sharpness on it just make sure it takes 
enchants. Oh yeah, it can be enchanted. Oh yeah, that's that I. That's the soul of the week. Right, speak of the swords. Let's do a quick, quick flyby. I nearly flew past the island. If anyone saw me and Jew's reaction to this, it was awesome. My little failed plan to skelly in the diamond hut, it was a total fail. But totally effective. Don't look at that, that's a spoiler. Is it empty yet? No! If I could steal your wood, that would be a terrible thing to do. Um, must have some wood on me. What's that? A bizzle stuff. No, that's not wood. Um, they can go in there, get rid of them. No wood. Right, where's... Check the bags. Always wood in the bags. Ship's helm sand. <laughs> oh, this has gone so well. Got any wood? <laughs> Steed any wood? We got a sign now, dude. Uh, dark oak wood. Yeah, just a little bit. Don't need a lot, just a little bit. Got a crafting table I can borrow. See, it's really helpful. Are there planks? Are they? No, don't, 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 don't want it. That'll be perfect. I can go back. Um. Somewhere obvious. Here is obvious. And Do 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 that again. I do that every time. You may need this very soon. Where'd it go? Find the anthropod spider killer. <laughs> oh dear. Make it look pretty as well. Not quite. Certainly, because I'm not sure what diamonds now. I know Mountain Dew when she was stood over here. Could see my swamp. So my swamp is nearby. Over right this way somewhere. I live near here. Honestly, I do. If I do where I lived, it would make life easier. It's Mountain Dew's. Must be over here. Is that me? No, that's me over there. No, it's Mountain Dew. So I must be over here. I live near here. There I am. I can never find my way back. I know exactly where Mountain Dew is from my place. I can never find my way back to it. So I'm going to call it there for today. Another little short episode. Mainly because I was my villagers wonder what I was showing through then. Mainly because I haven't got a massive amount of recording time today. But don't want to give too many spoilers away. Come on, world, load in. But things are afoot. Dun, 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 dun. I'm going to have to go much closer. Yeah, there you go. 
Things are up. Yeah. The prank war is escalating. Be ready, Carter. It's a coming. Little planes. Big planes. <laughs> Back at you, fella. Right. I'm going to call it there, everyone. Have a brilliant day. And I'll see you next time. Bye.